Hello everyone and welcome to a video where I am going to be talking about primarily three things. I may ramble and <laughs> go off topic a little bit, we'll see how this goes, but mainly I want to be answering the question of why did I end my Lovely World series, um, how do I feel about it, and what am I going to be doing next? And the reason I'm doing this video is because those are all questions that I've been getting asked a whole lot <laughs> recently. And I feel like I've kind of been answering bits of it here and there, but often it will just be like in the chat of a live stream or like in one tweet and then people are referencing it, but kind of answering things wrong. So I thought if I just do one video where I'll just go and explain kind of I guess what is hopefully most of the more frequently asked questions, then I can just point to this video and say, hey, watch that <laughs> if you want to if you want to know the uh, the answers to those questions and I won't have to, to keep answering them. Uh, but also I'm just going to be like talking about things that I have not said anywhere else. Ooh, very exclusive for you and everyone else that watches this episode. Anyway, uh, yeah, I will be rambling in this episode. I don't highly edit these things. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm old school as it happens. More on that later, I guess. <clears throat> So, uh, yeah, first, the question, why did I end Lovely World? Um, so that, that question isn't really, like, I can't answer that question. Because the question isn't why, like, have I ended it? Like, the decision was never to end it. Like, the decision to end Lovely World was made when I decided to start Lovely World. Because it was going to end in some way at some point. So I guess the question I'll ask is, why am I ending Lovely World now? Because it was always going to have an ending. It was always going to end, whether by my hand or some outside means. Um, the reason I'm deciding to, to end it now is the question uh, that I'm going to be uh, asking it. So, like, the one big key reason... It's very simple, probably the one you'd expect, and it's just kind of a lack of motivation. And that isn't to say that I haven't enjoyed, like, the recent, like, videos uh, that I've been making. Like, my motivation always kind of goes in waves. Like, normally, I'll have an idea for something, whether it's a new mini game or a special, and I've got a big spike in motivation when I'm kind of designing it or kind of coming up with a plan, and I'll be all in it, and then I'll finish it, and then the, the motivation will go down. So I've, I've always had that wave since the, the very beginning, but the wave used to be kind of, like, up here, and now the wave is down here. So why do I have a lack of mo motivation to make that um, kind of video? So uh, the obvious answer is I've been doing it for a very long time. I think over 11 years now I've been making videos in that kind of format. And I like that kind of format. Like I didn't, like it's been very clear that I have had <laughs> no... <clears throat> attempts to adapt and evolve and follow the trends and kind of do things in the way that <clears throat> a lot of other people um, have been doing. You know, basically, you know, I, I've not been fighting to kind of stay relevant or on the, the top of the, the YouTube Minecraft charts because, like, I'm making the videos that I enjoy making. I like making kind of, like, long take single episodes um, that involve kind of some sort of creativity, whether that's in designing the, the challenge that I'm doing or whether it's in, um, you know, like me designing literally a thing or, or, or telling a story. That's that's the sort of uh, type of video that I enjoy making. Uh, not that I'm saying that there's anything wrong with, you know, other styles of videos. Like, I think that there's there's been a big thing where people say like, oh, like, kids growing up these days having to watch this person rather than watching Stampy, or, like, oh, Stampy's, you know, or, you know, Stampy and Dante DM, like, are so much better than these modern people. Like, you don't have to put other people down to lift other people up. <laughs> That's one of my little pet peeves. I thought I'd just uh, stick that in there. So, yeah, I've been doing it for a really, really long time. And it's got to the point now where a lot of the people watching my videos, and it's not everyone, uh, are kind of coming back for, like, a nostalgia fix. And the idea of being, like, a vessel for nostalgia isn't very appealing. Like, I saw, um, like, I, I've been doing the 24-7 live streams of old videos, and I saw someone, like, join the chat, and they said, sup, nostalgia lists? And that, like, yeah, like, once again, like, that person's right. Like, that's why a lot of the people were there. Like, no, you know, no... Um, I guess nothing bad to, to that person, but that just kind of really did drive home like, oh yeah, like that is what a lot of, you know, my YouTube is. And I know that isn't everyone. I know there are people that still are kind of just watching or are, are new uh, comers to the, the channel and are just watching anyway. But like, let's be real, like that's what a lot of it is. And I just don't, I don't have any interest, like, in, in doing that for, like, the rest of my life. Like, I don't want my career to be, like, looking backwards at, like, hey, do you, do you remember that? And repackaging and um, kind of just reminiscing on those old times. Like, that isn't interesting to, to me. So I guess, like, one of the things I really want to make a point about is that 
the Stampy that you have seen, the Stampy that you have been aware of, like the YouTube persona of Stampy, is really only just a small percentage of me. Like, I have a, a whole life outside of YouTube. I have interests and hobbies and friends and things that I do completely unrelated to, to YouTube. So even like during times, you know, where you might say like Stampy, like golden age or whatever, like I was doing all other stuff, you know, as well at the the time. And like, I'm continuing to, to do all of that stuff now. So even if, you know, I'm kind of stopping doing Lovely World and stopping doing Minecraft videos, like in, in, in general, more on that later, um, like, that doesn't mean that I, I'm, I just still carry on. Like, it's not as big of a change as it is for me because the only part that you've seen is the the part that I've selected and decided to to put out for, for you to, to view. And so, you know, while it is a, a momentous moment for me, like, it's really not as big of a, of a change for, for me as it might be for, for some of you. So, um, yeah, that's the kind of the, the reason I lack mo uh, motivation is because it's been going on uh, for such a long time. And then the other thing is, I've got to be honest, is the the switch from uh, from the console editions to Bedrock. Like that was, like that is a big point where my motivation peaked. Like for one, I was like a little bit, like I was upset at the way that it was kind of handled, the the whole way the the switch happened and the way the old uh, versions were were discontinued. Like I was very vocal about it at the the time. The reason I was very vocal was because you know I really wanted there to be a change. Like it was my job playing Minecraft, and suddenly that job was going to get like a whole a whole lot harder, and it did. Um, so that was the the reason I was kind of so vocal during that time was I was hoping that like you know, not that Bedrock wouldn't happen, like, that was the inevitable future, but, like, it would be delayed or released as a, a beta, and then, you know, both versions would be, you know, updated at the, the same time. Anyway, I'm getting too into the weeds about that. Uh, basically, yeah, when Bedrock came out, like, my motivation, you know, I'm talking about that wave, like, it did tank, and it never really regained. Like, it's been much more difficult to, to make the videos in the, the style that I have on Bedrock, and I just enjoy playing the game like uh, a lot less like than I did on the, the console edition. It's like, imagine like your job is, you know, driving a car, you know, you're a taxi driver and then you suddenly get given like a worse car and just interacting, you know, changing gears just doesn't feel as good. It's, it feels a little bit slower. It keeps breaking down. Like you're still doing the same thing and you still might get from A to B in the same way. But like every interaction in between there is, you know, a little bit less um, enjoyable. And so, you know, I, I'm not going to, like, stand here and say, oh, it's because of Bedrock I'm ending my lovely world. That's not true. Like, I think, you know, this point, as I made um, very clear at the beginning, would come at the end. I would have ended lovely world anyway. Like, I, I could only speculate to whether I would be carrying on if, I, you know, for longer if I was still on the, the console edition and that version, you know, was out on the new consoles with new updates. You know, I, I don't know what would happen in that scenario but you know that was a big time where my motivation tanked and i never kind of really recovered <laughs> from that i guess i guess the game never really got to a point where i felt like it was tailored you know for consoles i mean i had to switch from console to pc i wasn't even i'm not i don't know if anyone even realized this like i play on pc rather than than console now because it couldn't run <laughs> my world very well um, but i feel like they never they never really focused on the the console experience in a dedicated way and i'm not blaming the developers for that like it's hard because they're making a game that has to work with all these input devices and so it kind of it makes it harder to specialize and make a thing specifically designed for one platform because you're not <laughs> you're making something that works for a lot of platforms so yeah that is a an, another reason and there have been a lot of people like <laughs> leaving comments and saying like oh but you're so close to a thousand i thought you'd at least get to like a thousand episodes and i'm on what like episode like 820 something and I know it doesn't seem like that much, but that would take years. Like, imagine someone just started a new series in Minecraft, and they're like, oh, I started the series, but I'm not actually that motivated. I'm not having that much fun anymore. I'm going to end it. And someone said, ah, what if you just made 180 more episodes? <laughs> like, it would seem ridiculous. It's just because, like, the, the scale is high. All the numbers are bigger, so that difference doesn't seem so much. But, I mean, that would be, I don't know how many more mini games and specials and stuff. It would be years of videos if I continued <laughs> doing one a week. So, yeah, that, j just so I could have, what, like a round number in the title? That doesn't actually really mean anything. Um, so yeah, that that wasn't a consideration. Like now was the the time to to end it because it's basically got to a point where, like I think back in the console edition when like there was a new update 
And it was like, it was like Christmas for me because like I'm spending all of my time like in this blocky world and trying to come up with ideas. And then suddenly there's just like a bunch of like new tools that I can use, new things that I could play with. And I'd do like a, a video, like explaining all of the new stuff and be immediately trying to think of the possibilities. And like, if I got to be completely honest, now when there's like a big new update, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to learn all this stuff. <laughs> like I'm almost like resentful that I have to go and like learn about how all this new stuff works. And like, I think that there has been some really cool things added to, to Minecraft recently, but like the game has gone in a direction that, you know, personally interests me less where I feel like they've moved, they've moved much further away from the idea of like it being a system based game, like adding something like the piston, which is a thing that could move another thing to where they added a lot of things that have like very specific use cases, like things like the pottery brush thing and stuff that, you know, like it does its thing and the thing it does works and some people enjoy that, but it doesn't really interact with anything else. And for someone like me, who's always not looking to use things in their intended way, like that has kind of made the, the game a little bit um, less interesting for, for me. But just to be clear, like I still think Minecraft even Bedrock is an amazing game. Like I strongly recommend it to, to anyone that I talk to. Like I still have a lot of strong like personal feelings towards the game because, you know, obviously it's been such an important part of my life. Like I still think Minecraft is an amazing game. Uh, I'm just ready to play other games, I guess, is a, uh, <laughs> a good way to, to put it. And then the other big reason for ending it now is because people still care. I mean, people, you know, obviously I'm not getting as many views as I used to back in the day. Like I'm not gonna pretend that I did. But, you know, I still get, you know, tens or even hundreds of thousands of people watching my lovely world videos or have been up until this point. And when there's a, a special that, you know, bleeds over into the, the millions, you know, I'll be honest, as I'm recording this, the final episode hasn't gone out yet. I finished editing it yesterday as I'm recording this. Um, I'll talk more about that when I discuss how I feel. Um, but, you know, I, I know people are going to care just from the reaction I've got even from the, the trailer being uploaded and ended up getting on trending on gaming. Like, as of now, people still care about the the finale i guess of lovely world and i think with every year that will lessen like i i that's never there, there was never going to be a a switch i was never going to reinvent myself or you know a new wave of younger viewers was going to come in like that was not going to happen because i was not going to facilitate that happening um so as i do it now people are still interested and i don't want to run it to the ground i don't want to to you know keep going for as long as it's viable and it is still viable like i could still have a career continuing doing lovely world like that was an option um but i think just for my mental health and i think to be honest for the the best interest of viewers as well it kind of yeah, now was the, the time to, to end it. So hopefully that explained it. Like, I think hopefully the beginning of me saying it was never going to go on for forever. Like, hopefully that made that clear. And then, like, hopefully you understand from in the position I'm in that now is the, the time for, for me to, to end it. And it's always a, a weird balance with videos where, you know, I'm always trying to do what I want to do, but also audiences would want as well. And I think this is a, a case where there's a lot of people saying like, no, please carry on, please carry on, please no, please keep doing it. And I think they're not thinking about my side. And, you know, I I think you've got to kind of meet me in the, in the middle a little bit here. But I think most people kind of would understand that and appreciate it and accept that. <laughs> like, if I'm not wanting to make it, like, there's no value of that. And also a lot of people saying, no, 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 carry on, carry on, carry on. But there seems to be a lot more people saying that than were actually watching the videos at the time. And, and then, like, they're talking about videos that I made, like, six years ago. And it's like, well, they're all already there <laughs> like like I, it's me carrying on making these videos will not bring you back to to your childhood basically so um yeah mostly it's been really lovely messages but i kind of wanted to, to address those people um right uh how do i feel so as i alluded to a little bit earlier um i'm recording this before i've released the final episode uh, I'm kind of doing that a little bit intentional to cheat so I don't get <laughs> too emotional. Like, from the very beginning, I've always tried to have a separation between, like, this is YouTube, Stampy, this is Stampy Cat, and then this is me, this is Joe. This is, like, my personal life. And obviously, they're they're intertwined. You know, I'm going to events and stuff. Um, you know, I've done vlogs and that. But, like, let's be clear. Like, the real me and, like, Stampy is very different. Like, any any YouTuber that pretends that they're just capturing the, the raw version of them. Like, even if they were doing a 24-hour live stream, like, you're still not seeing the raw version of them because they know they're being filmed so like everyone acts differently when there's a camera in front of them so i make no pretense that you know people ever see the, see the real version of me so for that reason like i always do try and keep 
a separation between um, real life me and my real life emotions and kind of what I project. So I guess bear that in mind uh, with everything that I'm going to, to say here. Um, so I guess like one of the main emotions I'm feeling right now is just nervous about people's reaction to the finale. Um, I'm going to assume anyone watching this has seen that because I might slightly spoil it. So, I mean, you probably have, but if not, go watch it, I guess. Um, yeah, it's just such a big thing. I think people have so, like such high expectations and I've seen people messaging me saying like, is it going to be like a three-parter or is it going to be like like an hour long? Is it going to be like a movie? And it's not. It's a Lovely World episode. And that was very intentional. Like one of the things I never like is when there's something like, say it's like a popular TV show and they make it into a film and it'd be like, I mean, this didn't happen, but it's like the Simpsons, like visit Europe and like they kind of change what the concept is and they feel like they need to make it like bigger and it ends up changing the core of what it is. And so I was very conscious about not doing that. I wanted it to be a lovely world episode. Uh, I knew from years ago what the very ending was. I knew I wanted Stampy to leave, like physically leave the world. Like, that was something that I wanted. Like, that final shot of, like, Stampy, like, walking off into the distance. Like, that's been planned for a very long time. And I also knew that uh, there'd be a lot of people watching the finale that haven't been watching episodes leading up to it. So I didn't want too much baggage. I didn't want, you know, what I normally do, where I'm always kind of leaving things hidden in the background and there's, like, a big build-up uh, to these special episodes. Um, because I knew that a lot of people wouldn't be catching that build-up, I didn't want to be like, oh, suddenly the giant robot is back that you know you saw five episodes in the background and we'll be like what there was a giant robot like you know people wouldn't understand it so there's a small bit of that with uh like the the letters but i basically just say like oh i have been receiving letters for years but never reading them like and then everyone's like okay i understand <laughs> like like there, there's no there, there, there's no more depth to it than that which is intentional because i knew that a lot of people would be coming uh, to it and just kind of watching it as a standalone piece and then i also knew that i wanted to have like almost like an old school improvised fight with hit the target. Like I wanted a brawl. That's why I had like a shield and we had like, like I didn't have a very good sword was because I wanted like to have a good, like I wanted to hit hit the target and I wanted him to hit me and us to have like a good back and forth, but not really um, scripted or really like pre-planned. Like I wanted like an old school Minecraft battle with hit the target, like because we don't clash swords <laughs> very much or bows, uh, I guess. And so those are the few things that I wanted to, to get and then I wanted to try and step up the, the drama. So I think hopefully I've done that. It's always really hard to, to judge, but I can't, you know, help worry that people's expectations are going to be sky high. I'm sure everyone's going to be really lovely. But I guess one of the things is I'm feeling a little bit nervous that the final will disappoint people and the fact that it's a little bit of a melancholy, uh, melancholy, melancholy ending and it is me leaving, like hopefully people will enjoy that. Or if not enjoy it, there will be a satisfying ending if not like the, you know, like, you know, there, there'll always be people that want you to beat the villain and your victory and we put up the stampy flag and then we punch my microphone uh, and then it's so everyone's happy and we go home and have cake. Like there's some people that always want that, but like those sorts of stories are less interesting to me and I've never been scared to kind of take risks and, you know, kill dogs or blow up my bedroom, you know, whatever. Like I, I think those moments uh, like add, add a lot of drama. So hopefully people enjoy it. So yeah, that's one of the things. I'm feeling nervous about people's uh, reaction. I'm feeling quite relieved. I'm quite, feeling quite relieved that after this video is uploaded, like, I don't need to be constantly thinking about, like, what's the next thing? What's the next mini game? Like, what am I going to be leading up to for, like, the next hit the target? What's my Christmas special going to be? Like, I've done so many Christmas specials. What else could I do now? Um, I'm kind of feeling a little bit relieved that I don't have to, to be doing that. Um, in terms of, like, the expected, like, sadness of it ending... I've had little moments where that has kind of come in. Like one of the things is is there wasn't a there wasn't an obvious ending. Like I think you might imagine that like there's oh we record the final episode and I say bye and then suddenly I feel sad because I've said bye and I realize that it's done but we there, there was never a single moment because the final episode the way it was filmed as I'm sure a lot of you can imagine it's not filmed like a normal episode. Um you know, just the fact that it ends in like a montage and stuff and there's like a third person camera at the end and stuff like it's not like there wasn't like that clear moment of me saying bye we finished the final episode so if anything it was the episode before that the one playing the flower power 2 minigame that was the one where when I said bye for that one I was like oh that's just the last 
episode where I load up the game, we record for like 20 minutes or whatever, and then I say bye. Uh, because the last episode, there were so many points you could point to. There was like, when we filmed most of it, then we had to pick up a few shots, and then like doing the commentary and stuff like that. There were so many elements you could say, this is the final moment when I finished editing it. So because of that, I think like it was kind of spread out like the feeling of recording the final episode so it was less like oh it's all just done now and i sigh and i go like oh it's all done like that that never really happened so it's kind of been a what is with this microphone uh, it's been like a, a gradual build up to um to to the the thinking of oh no this is this is really it now <laughs> this is this is really done but it is a little bit heavier just because this is kind of accidentally almost turned into like my soft retirement from YouTube in general. Like I wasn't doing that many other videos anyway, but I'd just done like the big Zelda series, Tears of the Kingdom, which was like a hundred episode, which ended like not long ago. Um, and then like, I'm doing this. And at the moment I'm not recording anything else. And I guess I'll get into that a little bit more when I talk about what's, you know, what I'm doing next. But like when I finish this video, like that's kind of, you know that's kind of it for like series that I have planned at the at the moment. So it's kind of ended up being. It's not just oh I'm ending lovely world, but also I'm oh, got a new Zelda video. I've got to get out by Thursday. Like <laughs> like it's kind of it, it feels like bigger. It really feels like a a proper a proper ending. Um, but it does. It feels really nice. Like I've kind of I, I've I've enjoyed like setting up these twenty four hour live streams. If you didn't see them, I was kind of playing. Um, like old videos from Lovely World and kind of creating playlists and doing like these are all hit the target episodes these are all mini game episodes these are all episodes followed by behind, uh, behind the scenes or community selected episodes so I've been doing a lot more looking back at old videos which I don't do much normally I finish the video I'm straight looking forward to the, the next one that's been nice but then also all of the the messages from from people you know all of the the people that you know, all of the people that are now adults that were watching me you know when they were children and all of the lovely messages and them being able to explain things that they could have never explained as a kid because well one you know often children aren't as articulate as a uh, uh, as adults are and also they were like living it they didn't realize you know kind of what i was doing or the impact it would end up having because they were they were in it they were they were living it they were going through that moment at the the time um but now a lot of my life is spent you know either running to running into people in public which is happening more than it ever has you might imagine like during you know back in 2014 or whatever I'd be getting stopped on the street more. No, it's happening now because they're all adults and it's in, you know, and people are working in cafes and restaurants and shops and all over the place. And, um, you know, police officers have stopped me on the street and said they used to watch me when I was a kid, which was a, a strange experience. Um, and so I'm seeing a, a lot more of that. And then uh, just in the, the comments and with messages with people knowing the finale is coming, like a lot of people uh, are sending really, you know, beautiful messages and sending me video messages about kind of the the impact that I've had on them and you know it feels lovely like I won't I won't lie about it like it's really nice hearing those messages and it's very re rewarding because you know back in the day there were other directions I could have done and opportunities that were presented to me that I turned down you know um in the goal to kind of I guess protect my audience I was always very co conscious of parents watching with their children and hopefully becoming you know, a trusted channel on YouTube at a time when there wasn't, you know, much regulation and much control, not that there is now. Um, and, you know, a lot of it is stuff that wasn't, you know, necessarily beneficial to the channel or even like my like demeanor, you know, like if something goes wrong, let's say if I lose a game, like Stampy's reaction isn't anger or frustration or whatever. It's like, oh, well, like I'll get them next time. Like, you know, like just li little things like that. And I'm not saying that you know, it's going to make a huge impact on people, but it is it is something that I was conscious of. And I do feel like sometimes I get too much credit for just like, just not being bad. Like there's a lot of people that really compliment me for like, just, just, you know, for as being a YouTuber and not just being awful. <laughs> be like, oh yeah, Stampy, like he didn't turn out to be awful as if like, just being like a normal human being, but also, you know, being a, a YouTuber and then having that success that I did back in the, the day, um, which is kind of funny because, you know, it, it doesn't, I mean, I, I guess it's just, it's funny that that's the assumption that like, you know, it would affect someone so much that, you know, it would change them to a point where, you know, they stop seeing, seeming so much like a, a human. And I think, I think the fact that it was early enough in YouTube's days and the fact that, you know, I spent so much time with like family and friends who 
well, kind of completely outside the YouTube world. I think that helped me out a little bit. But that's something that always does make me laugh where people would really big me up for just not being <laughs> evil or <laughs> being awful um, is quite funny. Um, yeah, so I guess now is probably the time to talk about uh, what I'm going to be doing next. So the big thing that people are constantly asking me about uh, is the world download. So people, my whole time I've been doing Lovely World have been said, release a download of the world. And I always said, I'll release it when it's done, which was a little bit of a, a bit of a joke at the time. Because it's like, oh, when will it be done? When will it be done? They're like, oh, it'll be done when I'm like, I'm finished with it. Um, so I always kind of said that as a little bit of a, of a joke to kick the can down the road because I didn't want to release a, a download because it's my world. Get your own world. <laughs> um, so, But now I guess it's kind of almost done or i guess is done kind of um so yeah i will be planning to release a world download so unfortunately i don't have any dates or any specifics to to announce now i've been so focused on getting the finale done the ideas of world downloads are kicked down the can so my plans are is i would hope to release it on the minecraft marketplace which basically means that anyone on bedrock will be able to download it um, no matter what platform you are on. It's just the easiest and most like accessible way to to do it. Um, like, I'm sure it won't be long until someone converts it to Java and <laughs> it gets spread around that way. Like, it's out of my control, but like, like once it's out, it's out of my hands. Um, so that is my plan at the moment. Um, it's not like, it's not easy to to just release a map on, on there. Like you need to be... Um, a business i believe and you need to be like a, a like a partner to do it and there's like a really really long cl uh, queue like they're not even really taking um people uh, applying at the, the moment applicants um but i am talking to to them and so hopefully i will at some point um be able to be a partner and be able to to release uh the map on the marketplace that is the plan it's like I'm not set up to do that yet, but that's what I'm working towards so that's you know uh what I know uh, in terms of uh that regard. Uh, but one of the things that I really want to do to try and add value to it uh, is I'm not just going to release the map just exactly as it was as the um, uh, as like I finished that final episode. Like I want to I want to make it more of a experience. And I've kind of gone back and forth about like how deep to go because I know there are some people that just I want to be in the world. Like I don't want I want it to look as it looks in videos. And so I'm trying to get the balance right. Like I like the idea of maybe having like a few like kind of easter egg hunts where you've got to try and like maybe solve like um clues to find things basically as a way to naturally make people explore like maybe a way to like like explain like the rules for like the mini games or maybe even build like a few exclusive mini games or, or things like that so i'm trying to work out to what level would people want i guess maybe you leave the comment uh, down below on this one like to you know how, how much do you want me to to add um and then even just things like like I got to go around and check all of the signs and make all of like the chests, make sure there's nothing like that shouldn't be in there. Or like if it's a cake shop that the cakes are in there, like, like just even do that or like going around, I'm going to have to go around every mini game and like, I'm going to have to make a spreadsheet. Like does the mini game work? If it doesn't, is it like possible to fix it? Or is it just going to kind of be like a relic that's sitting there? Like how much should I change? So like, there's going to be a huge amount of work that I'm going to have to, to do in order to to get it ready to be released because kind of once it's released, that's it. It's done. That's it out in the, the world. So this is my only chance to, to do that. So I want to to make sure that, um yeah, to make sure that I'm getting it right. So um that's my plan. You know what I know. Uh, I guess stay tuned. I'll be shouting about it and I'm sure doing trailers or whatever when the time comes. I don't have a time scale for you. Anything else you ask me about the world download, I probably won't have an answer for. So <laughs> that's that's everything. Anyone else who asks me about the world download, I'll point them to this video and I'll speak about it no more until there's actually something worth announcing. Uh, so yeah, the other thing uh, that's going to happen is I'm going to mostly be going offline and... I mean that in terms of social media. So I basically am already. Like, I've never really used Instagram or TikTok. Um, Squashy, if you haven't seen the description, uh, they've been running kind of all of those platforms for me anyway um, for, for a while. Um, so, like, I never really went on there anyway. The only one that I did kind of go on was um, the website formerly known as Twitter. Um, so, yeah, I was on there occasionally. And 
I basically will be just kind of stepping back from that. Uh, I'll be keeping all of those channels. I will use them to make um, announcements and things, but I, I kind of won't be interacting really on those. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to go offline. I, I'm, I can't spend a lot of my time online, and I, I think I've always been a little bit like, like not in those communities too much and not really talking a bunch. Um, mainly just kind of releasing videos and kind of checking through comments. Um, but yeah, I'm basically going to be almost completely stepping back um, from social media. Um, I'm basically out already. It's just that little last toe I'm going to be taking out. So um, I guess bear that in mind. Uh, in terms of the Stampy channel, no new plans to do anything on Minecraft. And... Um, yeah, no new plans to kind of do anything, really. <laughs> so I say that, like, I know there will be videos. Like, I know I know there will be a game or something. Like, I know something will come up. But as of now, I have no current plans. And I certainly won't be going back to, like, you know, Minecraft video every day plus other videos. You know, I won't be going anywhere near that. I'm sure something will come up that will take my interest. And then I'll end up doing some videos on it. Um, and I also uh, do have some plans for like a few kind of videos sort of reminiscing on lovely world like i'd like to do like a story recap of like the entire series with everything we've hit the target and stuff um, and i'm sure maybe i'll do some like top tens or like tier lists or, or something um so my stuff earlier about saying i don't want to spend my whole time like looking back at the the past like don't start doing clips of that saying oh this aged badly like i am planning to do like a few things like in the near future like as the series has uh, has just ended but that's not my plan ongoing so there will be some stuff like that uh, that will be coming out so stay subscribed um but <laughs> um yeah that's that's not my plan to do that for a lot going forward i'm sure there'll be video ideas that i'll come up with um you know may maybe even some in minecraft maybe may probably like a stampy short or something maybe i'll have an idea for something like that you know um but as it is now i don't have anything in the works like this lovely world video is kind of like the end i guess of regular videos that i have planned so once again you know what I know, but we'll see what the, the future holds. Um, uh, the one thing that's a bit of an exception to that is I do plan to do more, like, live streams that aren't live streams. So um, I've really enjoyed doing, as I mentioned earlier, kind of the, the videos, like, reminiscing on old Lovely World videos. I have an idea to kind of expand that concept, and I don't know how long I'll do it for like at the moment is quite exciting and i'm just quite interested in the format because it's not something that i've really seen that much uh, on youtube um so I, I i there's something else i'm going to do with that maybe it's even launched already by the time you're watching this uh this video um so there will be kind of streams of pre-recorded content um that will be coming out on the the channel that will be starting soon or maybe started already i won't say anything more about that because that will be coming soon um yeah, and then what else am I going to be doing with my time? Because I'm going to suddenly have a bunch more free time. So one of the things I really want to do is I want to go back to writing my novels. I'm writing novels. Did you know that? Um, I've written three. <laughs> Can you believe it? Where are they? Oh, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I've <laughs> I have a plan to write uh, four novels, uh, which is the with the Stampy Cat character. Um, I won't say too much more about it. I've been doing a vlog series on my other channel, kind of talking about that process. If you're interested about everything leading up to to now. Um, None of them are, are released. Basically, it's my first time trying to write any long-form fiction, and I've been kind of using it as a way to learn how to get better at writing. I went back to college to, to kind of learn um, how to improve my writing skills. And so I've been doing that for uh, a while, but I've realised that it was just too difficult to be trying to do that and Lovely World at the same time. Not even because I didn't have enough time, but just because, like, my mental capacity was split between too many different areas, like, on top of all of the other things that I was doing at the, the same time. And so I decided that I'll wait until Lovely World's finished and then I'll go back full force on the, the books. And so, as I said, I've wrote three, but my plan is now just to go back to the original novel and before thinking about writing a fourth or going a, over the, the sequels is just to go fully focus on the first one and get it to a, a point where I'm happy to release it. Because at the moment, it's not. Because I think I've improved my writing skills as I've been writing them, which means obviously the first one, I think, is the worst out of the, the three because I think I've improved while writing them. So I want to get it to a point where I'm happy enough with it and then I can start sending it to other people, you know, proper writers, uh, who can, like, really edit it and help me get it to a level where I'd be happy to release it in some form. Don't know what that would be, whether it would be digital, whether it would be like an audiobook only and I'm reading them as a YouTube videos is an idea that I've had, whether it would be a physical book. I mean, that's the 
that's the dream is to get it published by a proper publisher and get it in people's hands that way that is the best case scenario don't know if that will happen uh whether i self-publish it you know like there's there are options but my plan is is to get that to a point where people can read it <laughs> so i'm gonna be doing that a lot that's probably gonna be like my main gig uh, i guess for the foreseeable future and then the other thing I'm going to be continuing doing, uh, something else you may not know of, is my other channel called Let's Crest. No, only joking. <laughs> I don't know why I said Let's Crest. Um, did you know I did? I got a video, uh, a channel all about Crest. Yeah, no, there won't be uh, any videos on there. I'm afraid. <laughs> Maybe I should do another, another video like this. Why? Why I ended Let's Crest? <laughs> um, the <laughs> <laughs> uh, that wasn't planned for me to say that. Uh, yeah, the other channel that I have actually been very actively um, involved and uploading on is a channel called The Bonus Points. And so this has been running for a couple years now. And it's a, a channel that uh, I started with an old school friend of mine. Um, back in the the day, uh, well, I didn't start the channel back in the day, but you know he was my friend back in the day, and it's basically it's a gaming channel, uh, but it's geared for kind of um, an older audience, I guess, than. Um, then Stampy, like we still don't swear or anything on it. Like don't get like that idea. Like everything that I said earlier isn't thrown out the window uh, for this new channel. Um, but we don't limit ourselves so strictly with the types of games that we discuss. So we have two podcasts, the main podcast of which, which is called coincidentally the Bonus Points Podcast, is all about us playing um, games. We play one every two weeks and then we do a very deep discussion about it and then we get into a sometimes heated debate about where it should go on an overall um, ranking list that we have been doing. And that has been great. That has been a really fun outlet for me. It's been great for getting me to, to play games that I might not otherwise play. Uh, we also have guests on the, the channel uh, as well that they will bring uh, their own game or a game that they really enjoy or a game that they just want to play uh, and then we'll discuss that and once again rank it on the, the list. Uh, but then we just do loads of other videos on there, like loads of videos. <laughs> like we've been doing this for, for quite a while. There's a huge library uh, of videos there if you've not come across it where we're playing like silly challenges, like playing games in a way that they're not meant to be uh, intended, doing like real life like challenge videos. Um, like a lot of like kind of deeper discussions uh, on games, the type that I probably wouldn't like do uh, on the, the Stampy channel. Uh, we've just kind of started doing Let's Plays. We're doing a, a big long form Let's Play of Bloodborne and we have like, we've built a set <laughs> above my garage and we've got like custom made hats and like custom music um, like throughout the, the whole thing. So yeah, it's like a whole big thing that I've been doing uh, that, that I haven't really been promoting too heavily uh, from the, the Stampy side because we're kind of trying to to kind of do it as its own thing and it's all just for fun it's all just like a, a hobby thing it's basically me and my mate that would chat a lot about video games um now recording it i guess <laughs> is like a, a good way to to sum out how uh the idea of the bonus points was born uh, and yeah i will be continuing doing that if anything uh, production over there will only grow because I'll have a, a bit more free time uh, to to put into it. So um, yeah, if you have kind of drifted away from the Minecraft stuff or the Stampy stuff, um, yeah, please do go and uh, check it out and uh, at least um, yeah see what you uh, what you think of it. Whether it would be something you'd be interested in, uh, because that is going to be the most reliable place to see me, I guess, in the uh, foreseeable future on YouTube. Uh, but apart from that, like who knows? Like this is. Like the the Stampy Minecraft, uh, I guess chapter of my life, you know, is a prominent one <laughs> uh, in my life. But it is just one chapter, and I'm hoping that I'm gonna, you know, from here go forward and hopefully try and find a lot of value and meaning in a lot of other things. And I I think this is gonna always be a time I'm gonna look back uh, fondly. It's gonna be always a monumental time in my life. But I don't want it to, to define my life. I don't want it to be, oh yeah, he was the, the Minecraft YouTube guy, you know, for 10 years. And then like he cruised off that for the rest of his life. And all of, you know, the rest of my time is spent looking back and reminiscing and all those good old days. Like that doesn't interest me. Like, like I don't think, you know, I, mean, I know there's going to be nothing like publicly that I'm going to do, which, you know, for, from your perspective will come close to it. Like, and that's not my goal. Like, you know, who knows what I'm going to find value in and going to end up enjoying in the, the future. Like, I'm not attempting to come up with something that's going to like eclipse that in terms of, you know, popularity or the money it will make or anything like that. Like, that isn't my goal. But 
like I'm happy to to kind of you know close that book and every now and then I might reopen it and have a little peek in and go oh yeah that was good uh, but yeah that that book's closing and I'm going to move on with the rest of my life which will you know as I said mostly be, kind of be spent you know off social media and outside of the outside of public view so hopefully you can uh, respect that and uh, you can uh, appreciate that and I'm sure uh, most of you uh, watching this uh, can so yeah as I said this is a long rambly video hopefully I've answered most of your questions I know as soon as I go to edit this, I'm going to be like, oh, I should have said this, I should have said this, I should have said this, because that's what <laughs> that's what always happens. Uh, so there will probably be a pinned comment with me answering a few more uh, frequently uh, asked questions or, or things that I forgot to mention in this video, because that's the way uh, things normally go. So uh, yeah, if there is something that I didn't address here, uh, maybe take a little peek at the, the comments, because there's probably a pinned comment there uh, with me explaining uh, more. But um, yeah, that's uh, everything that I wanted to, to say thank you so much for your patience uh spending so much time with me um but you're now free to go about your day and do whatever you want to, to do so thanks for watching and i'll see you later guys bye